So if you've ever bought 3D files before and you've realized that you need to somehow mirror a part or an STL file, this is the video for you. So as you can see here, this is a Do 3D Mark 85 suit and you might buy it thinking that you've got a full suit. You open the files and all of a sudden you've only got one right thigh, one right shin, one right boot. I don't know why they do it. It's bizarre to me. I don't get why they can't just make a full file of a suit and sell it here, but that's do 3D. So if you're ever in need to mirror uh, an STL file, ideally you want to do it on a, prog a program called Mesh Mixer. Now once you've downloaded and installed Mesh Mixer, or you might already have it and not know how to use it, this is a video for you. So you're going to want to uh, get your file and drag it into Mesh Mixer. So what you're going to want to do is get your file, drag it into Mesh Mixer, simple as that, let it load. Once you've got your file on there, as you can see, a nice big right thigh. Now, obviously, if you were to print two of those, you'd have two right thighs and you need one for the left leg. So all we need to do to get this, turn this right thigh piece into a left thigh piece, we're going to mirror it. So once you've got your file on Mesh Mixer, so you're going to want to go on to Edit. And at the top here, you'll see something that says Mirror. Once it pops up, as you can see, you can mirror your print straight down the middle. You can alter them to be, whoa, that would actually look quite cool. But we're not going to do that. And once you've got it, you're going to want to take it over to the right side. There you go. So as you can see, if you drag it over, it will mirror your STL file. Accept. And then remember which one, which side is which. <laughs> Once you've done that, you can you can slice down the middle, cut cut the other one out, and then you've got two basically, one left, one right. As you can see, the mirrored perfectly, so you've got a left and a right. There you have it. How to mirror an STL file for 3D printing. Now I don't get why I do 3D do this but like I said don't worry if they do because it is fairly easy to mirror one if you like the video if you like what you've seen make sure you like and subscribe it helps the channel um, if you have any questions about the mark 85 or the mark 7 please hit me in the inbox and I will do my best to help you out with those thank you for watching and goodbye